Hi, I'm Jan. This is MaryLouHenner.com's Viva La Vegan Day 7. Before I get started, I wanted to introduce you to somebody because she's wandered by in a few of our pictures. Meet Katya. She's a 7-pound, 14-year-old Havana brown kitty. She's actually got dark brown fur and beautiful green eyes. I don't know if they'll show there, but um, since she's been wandering by and since you asked, I thought you should meet her. Today we're going to be talking about the walk. And yes, I'm washing my hands. <laughs> um, a lot of people got walks back in the 1980s when they were really, really popular. Uh, my husband actually took a Chinese cooking class, and that's how we wound up with three walks, one electric and two not. Um, there's a lot, a lot of things you can do in a walk, and in a Chinese home, you'll find so many walks that, I mean, every Chinese home has multiple walks so that they can do multiple things with them. Um, the primary thing we think of a walk is, is uh, for stir-frying, but um, with the lid, you can steam things in it, steam vegetables. Usually they come with some kind of rack and you can put things on top to steam those. You can freshen up dry rolls if you want. You can um, steam dumplings and your instruction manual will tell you all about that or you can just look it up online. Um, a few things I want you to know about cooking with a wok. There's some safety issues. You want to be sure that Number one, you're not bedecked in jewelry because um, you are cooking with a very hot liquid and um, it's good to just take them off and have your hands free and then you won't get burned and your ring won't get burned onto your hand. Um, I'm going to turn this on and get started heating a little bit here and then we're going to talk about um, uh, we're going to talk about a couple things that are um, technique for using the wok. First, um, use an oil that can be heated. Olive oil is not a good choice in a wok. Peanut oil, um, sunflower oil are both good organic type choices. And they, you can heat them without a lot of smoke, which um, you really don't want. Um, when you're heating up, when you're going to actually stir fry something, you start with the aromatics, which would be garlic, um, onions, and whatnot. And, um, heat up, heat up your wok and um, put them in, and they should sizzle, but don't let them cook brown because that that makes things a little bit bitter. After you've cooked those for two or three minutes, then take your spatula and just scoop them to the side of the pan, and then add your uh, protein. So if you're going to do tofu, which is a very logical choice for a wok, um, put the put the tofu in and stir fry that. Um, wooden utensils are good, a wooden spatula or um, nylon ones if you're using a, an electric wok. Yep, it's getting warm. Um, and silicone is a new, <clears throat> a new entry into the market since the 1980s. Um, after you've cooked your tofu, then remove the tofu and the garlic and onion from the pan and just set it on a plate. And then, um, really, you want to have all of your vegetables cooked in advance, I mean, prepped in advance. And little prep bowls like these are ideal, but if you don't have those, use your cereal bowls and get them all lined up in order of hardness and how long they'll be cooking. So if you have, uh, for example, carrots, celery, peppers, and uh, what's another thing? Um, turnip that you're going to be stir frying and maybe some spinach. The thing that's going to cook the longest, the carrots and the turnips because they're really hard. The thing that's going to cook the least would be the peppers and finally the spinach. So um, add them in and just cook them two or three minutes at a time. And then at the end, the very end of cooking, um, add back in your tofu, your aromatics and whatever sauce you want to make and it just needs to cook a couple minutes more. Wok cooking is great fun and it's very easy to do um, and you only have one little dish when you're done. But today we're going to do something that might surprise you. Um, we are going to cook bananas fostered in here and so I'm starting with a fourth cup of um, earth balance of course and in with that I'm going to put one cup of sucanat which uh, 
we all know, has Mary Lou's picture on the bag, so you can find it easily. It's on the back of the bag, and always a recipe there. So that's kind of fun, because you can look at your bag and say, I know her. Um, this will only take a couple minutes. I have my um, wok on fairly warm. I don't want to burn this stuff, but I, I do want to definitely get it melted. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Bananas Foster, it's, um, I think it developed as recently as the 1950s um, by a chef, probably named Foster, um, who wanted to impress his dinner guests, and this will do it. You might notice I'm wearing an apron and um, I have nothing over my head, and that will become obvious. The reason for that will become obvious um, shortly. So we want the sugar to melt completely, which sometimes takes a little bit longer with sucanat because it's in the little beady, bead-like things instead of crushed like uh, regular brown sugar would be. I'll tell you about my other ingredients that we're going to be using. Um, I use, um, this time I'm using a plantain which cut up looks like this, and not cut up looks like this. A plantain is a type of banana, and it's a little bit bigger, uh, can be a little bit firmer, but it's nice when it um, gets really ripe, it actually gets sweeter than the banana, and you can use it when it's more ripe. You notice I've got a lot of black on it, and you know, in the, in the normal world, you wouldn't use a banana that was that black for anything except banana bread like we made, uh, made with the rice cooker yesterday. Um, <clears throat> we're just cutting the banana into quarters, but if you're feeding a big crowd, um, you can slice it for this dish. That's no problem. Just in nice rounds. this on 400 and I think that's a little bit warm. Your walk, it'll vary from walk to walk and I don't know if you can see this but it is getting nice and melty. I'm going to measure out my liqueurs. This takes dark rum, dark rum, and banana liqueur. It's a third cup of dark rum and I can get the lid off. It's two tablespoons of the banana liqueur. And you put those together. And then we're going to pre-warm them in the microwave. But first I'm going to put my plantains in. These just need to cook for about two or three minutes is all. This is so simple to cook and takes very few ingredients. First time I made this, it was a little scary, but we figured out in a hurry that you don't want to have your, um, you don't want to do it under your stove because uh, you don't want to burn your house down, really, at least I don't. So these are ready, here we go, with the show, stay back children. We're going to put the warmed banana here. 
there, spattering like the Dickens, but watch this. Woo! Make a really good show. Put your cinnamon. Now that's impressive. You get yeah. the ice cream. I'm going to stay away from that. Yeah, you stay away from that. And Katya. Katya should jump off. Just caramelize with the bananas. Give them a little bit of the uh, yum, delicious yum. rum flavor. What's the game? Come look. Yep, the children heard fire. <laughs> There they are. Stay back. You missed the big show. It was way high. These what? are Kyra's boys. So why is it burning? Two of them, anyway. Uh, the two younger it's ones. Not burning. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's on fire. And it is on fire. We're burning out the alcohol. And I don't know. You probably can't see it, but it's just bubbling like crazy. It's in the two bowls. Uh, that was oh. an ice cream. Oh, okay. thank you. Uh, not for you oh. yet. We'll get you some in a minute. And then this goes, I'm just going to unplug it because we're done cooking it. It's beautiful. I'm going to get a big spoon, I hope. Yummy, yummy. And we'll put some on our ice cream. A little of the sauce. And we are good to go. And